Um, so I'm Bob Garner from Casal di Fichi, and with my husband, we moved here to Le Marche in Italy 16, 17 years ago now. Uh, so we moved from London and got out of our corporate lives to come and buy an old derelict farmhouse uh, in the countryside. And we renovated it and converted it into six uh, eco-sustainable luxury apartments. And we live on site, so we host our guests, we see them every day, we are very hands-on with our business, and we love um, entertaining them and hosting them and letting them have a lovely holiday. And uh, they love it, and we love it, so who knew we were good at being uh, hosts with the most. I came across Touch Day through uh, Matt Lando's uh, marketing site, and uh, I, to be honest, I hadn't heard of digital guides until that point, and I thought, hey, this is something that we should do and we should get into because for all the reasons that digital guides work, and before we were using paper versions, um, which of course we all know need to be updated and get dog-eared and coffee stained and all those problems that they have. Um, so we thought, I thought digital guides was the way to go. Um, and I remember very clearly uh, over um, a winter's week in the evenings, uh, everybody was away. I had the place to myself and I'd spend the evenings listening to music and putting all the information into the guide and getting a real buzz as the guide came together. And we got all this information together, which of course we've since improved and enhanced and developed, but it, it really felt like we've got a lot of information there that people are really going to appreciate and enjoy. And it, turned out they did. So uh, it was a fortuitous thing to find Touch Day. So I found the guide really helpful in giving me a structure and giving me a sense of what else I could communicate to our guests that I hadn't thought of before. So that's obviously a, a big win. I think what's great about the Touch Day di digital guide is it gives the guests the opportunity to delve in into a deep level or a superficial level, whatever they prefer, and find the things that they might want to experience, the places they might want to go, um, and to start to map out how their holiday might look and, and also discover new things that they didn't even know existed in the area. So we're in a rural area, but there's a lot of amazing things to see and do in our area that you wouldn't necessarily first think of. So putting those into a guide um, really inspires people to think, oh, yeah, I will go to this town that I haven't heard of, or I will go to this particular beach, or I will find this, this funky restaurant that Bob and Ian are recommending because it's, it's getting great reviews and everyone says it's lovely. So I want to do it too. So it's all part of the experience is the anticipation of what's coming for my holiday. And so many guests tell us that that's part of the pleasure of it. And the guide has really helped them do that. So what we get is we get guests who, everybody reads the guide, everybody is looking at the guide at one level or other, um, and we find ways of encouraging that to happen. But what we get is we get people saying that their experience of their holiday has been richer and deeper and more, more interesting because they've had the guide, because they've had the information there. Of course, we're on site, which is something that a lot of hosts don't have the opportunity to do. So we, the idea of the guide is to give people some information about the different things they can see and do and experience, and knowing that they can always then come to us for some further information and for some clarification if they need it. So we use the guide as a way of getting people to go, to be tempted to, be, to do something and then to come to us, and then we can give them further explanation as well. But we find that what they do is they, we often get people, I mean, it happens lots of times and I always get a little buzz when it happens is people will message us before they've arrived, but after they've got the guide and say, wow, this guide is really amazing. It's really, you know, brought alive my holiday. And, and of course, I sort of half take the guide for granted now because we've been had it for so many years, although it has developed and is still developing. You, you forget the excitement that the guest gets when they first see it and first start to read about what they can do. And, and they come back and say, oh, this guide has really helped me. So that's, that's been, been a really nice experience. And actually also after they've left, 
we often get guests who will comment in their reviews um, about the guide. So we get a lot of reviews on uh, TripAdvisor and sometimes we'll get the guests saying, you know, they had a great stay, all worked really well, they enjoyed meeting us, da 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 da. Uh, and, you know, and, and even reference them that the guide helped them, the guide gave them a further insight and it made the holiday experience more pleasurable. So that's obviously a great compliment to Touch Day and, and to us that we, we've helped them have a great day. And so I'm, I really am chuffed when, when I hear that. Actually, the most pleasurable part of what we do is interacting with the guests. So yes, we have our jobs to do. We have a business to run. I look after the gardening, Ian looks after the pool. We host a pizza party one night a week for our guests. Um, we have a lot of guests who come back. We have a very high return rate uh, and recommendation rate. So a lot of guests who come, come year after year after year, and they become really friends rather than just clients or customers. Um, so in a way, yes, it has cut down on lots of those nitty gritty details about how do I make the hob work or I, you know, how do I use the remote control or whatever, you know, those sort of small, boring, but essential topics. But it gets them to talk to us about more interesting things like, oh, I've just read about the Frassati Caves, which are one of the best underground caves in Europe. Can you tell me a bit more about it? They sound fascinating. And that's an opportunity for us to say, yeah, of course. And, and they say, oh, come in, in, sit down, have a glass of wine. And we sit on their terrace and have a glass of wine and, and chat, which is a great way of us getting to know the guests a little bit more and them getting to know us a little bit more. And it breaks down certain barriers and it forms a relationship that we might not otherwise have had. So in a way, Touch Day helps us facilitate deeper conversations, which we want because we enjoy that social side and they get the answers to their questions. We become more friendly. We become more. We become closer, and then that's an opportunity to build that relationship. We get we get guests who talk about it, and they talk about it within the context of the wider guest experience. So, uh, they you know guests don't always aren't always systematic in the way that they write reviews and 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 have a sort of checklist of things they want to talk about, but. They'll, they'll often encompass it in a wider explanation that uh, they had a wonderful experience, that everything from the beginning process of the inquiry through booking, through stay to post stay, all was seamless and was well communicated and gave them a sense that they were going to a place that they really wanted to be at. And we use the guide to help create that flow because we encourage people to have the guide, to read the guide, um, and then to come back to us with questions. We'll send the guide out to them again to make sure that they've, they've had it. We'll, when they arrive, we'll make sure that they know that they can have it on their phone um, rather than just having it on the computer or on a tablet or whatever. We, so we, we do lots of reminders of that. And actually we find most people have already worked that out and are using the guide. and. Uh, and it makes sense to them. And so often they'll reference that whole guest experience, not that they'll use those words. Um, and part of that has been the touch day guide. And they'll often say, well, it was great because I got the guide at the beginning and it really helped me think about, it really helped me reaffirm that I'd chosen the right place to stay. So that's an interesting idea, isn't it? Because people who have never stayed with you before, they go, yeah, that looks nice. And I really like that and I'll book it. But of course, until you've actually been to the place and met the hosts or had the experience, there's always that doubt. Well, will it be up to my standards? Will it give me what I thought it would give me? And the touch day guy gives them that, fills that gap. It gives them that reassurance that, oh, I've made the right decision. I have booked the right place. And now I'm really, really looking forward to my stay. And so I, I think that's a really important part of reassuring the guest and making them really anticipate their stay and make sure they feel they've made the right decision of where they want to stay. I'm passionate about the environment. And so for me, me personally, it's the most important part of our guide. Um, and 
I, I accept that that's not always going to be the case for other people, but for me, it's the most important part of the guide, and it's right at the front of the guide after the welcome information. Uh, and there are several components to that guide. And you've just reminded me I need to update a couple of things in that, um, so I'll do that later. But to me, it's really crucial. So we started out when we moved here and we started developing this business and reconstructing the property that we knew that we wanted it to be environmentally sustainable, not that we were experts, not that we knew much, but we started to implement that in the building phase and later on uh, in other aspects of the, of the business to make it as sustainable as possible. And we're still learning and we're still adding things. Each year we add more, we do more. And for me, it's really crucial to be an advocate for that and be out and proud and loud about that to to within our business to our customers and to the wider vacation rental space where i spend a lot of my time talking about environmental sustainability because i'm passionate about it and i believe there's a role for everybody connected to tourism to do something around sustainability and play their part whatever that might be but with the guide what we've done is we've explained our philosophy around sustainability why it's important uh, and what we have done about it and then crucially we talk in the guide about how the guest during their stay can help us to continue and enhance and embed and deepen that sustainability and i could talk about what those steps are but that's important so that when they come they already know before they come that it's a it's an environmentally sustainable property. And then while they're here, there are lots of touch points within the organization, in the business, that they will see that we are a sustainable business. And all of that is flagged up in advance, obviously on our website, obviously in our communication, but clearly in the touch day guide, where we talk about this, the different environmental steps we've taken, why they're important, and how the guests can help us during their stay. So what, what happens is the guest already is coming with the knowledge that they're coming to a sustainable place. Of course, while they're here, we talk to them about it, but very important, not in a preachy or a, a finger wagging way, in a, in, a, in a way of saying, do you know about this? Would you like to know about this? Have you heard about this? Not you must do this, you mustn't do this. That doesn't get you anywhere. Um, and we're, always amazed how open people are to learning those new things or saying yes i've already do that in my at home myself which of course is great um and so the guide explains these things and so that when they're thinking of going shopping or when they're using the pool or when they're taking stuff in the organic garden or when they're using the refillable bottles in the bathroom or when they're using the the water dispenser in the kitchen so they don't have to buy plastic bottles of water each time they're getting the experience of sustainability and all of that is laid out in the touch day guide so they're not coming with to, to great surprises they're coming with knowledge of what it's going to be like and uh, that's important that the whole point for me of the touch day guide is communication is information and communication and making our lives easier and, and the guests lives more enjoyable and if we can do that then it's a win-win I don't know if many other people do it, but it works for us. We don't, we normally give the touch day guide out after the guest has booked. So that's what we do. But if we get an inquiry and it doesn't seem to be going anywhere, uh, we will follow up with the touch day guide. So if we think that mm, they're not sure whether they're going to book or not, we send them the guide and we say, we've already sent you some information because we, we have an, an insider guide, which we send them. Um, that is part of the sales pitch. But if they haven't booked, they will then send, we will send them the touch day guide because for us, it doesn't matter. It, it's an asset. And of course, it's a very useful tool for selling the business. But if we don't get the customer booked, then it, it, they haven't even seen that asset. So we will send it them in advance and say, we've already sent you this. You, you might still be thinking of booking with us. Take a look at the guide because the guide will tell them much more about us much more about the property, about the region, about the experience, about what we have to offer. And then we get a lot of people who then book. So I think the Touch Day Guide is a sales tool 
it's not just a post sales tool because it pushes some people over the line and gets them to connect and to commit and if and they may not have committed without them having the touch day guide so i don't know whether other people do it but we find it works quite a lot of the time it just pushes them over the line and gets them to book and so it's great isn't it isn't that a wonderful thing to have 